Hello everyone. All right, for this video, we're gonna be going over Death Scyther. So TT and the, the Korra Korra, whatever, decided to release uh, their coverage on it. Uh, I am pretty excited for it. I wanna say impressed, but then after I remember that they do rig the battles to make the bay look really good. So we do get a better, closer look at Death Scyther. We clearly see uh, the metal that's on there and we see the 4A chassis. Now in the video, they do it against Infinite Achilles and obviously they could have weak to launch Infinite, but it does actually give it a pretty good hit and it manages to outspin it. Now the thing is though, it's like, uh, it's, it's kind of impressive to be honest that it managed to take down Infinite Achilles on uh, attack mode. So, you know, that, that out of the way, they, they have the actual video going over going over the stuff. So Drasil V has double O, wall, and then after high defense. Storm Pegasus has Drake, high survive. Hercules has 10 axe power. Dead Phoenix, by the way, these bays IRL look really good. Visually so appealing. Dead Phoenix has three high Zephyr. Cursed Death Scyther has 8 dash Zeta dash 1S. Quite a mouthful. Uh, Abyss Longinus 13 Spiral dash 4A. You got the Xbox Valkyrie. <laughs> 11 Absorb 1D. And then the, the, main, the main Death Scyther, obviously. So they show the main Death Scyther. And I gotta say, that frame is pretty bulky. So the new frame is X. That's the new frame. It's 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 pretty bulky when you look at it compared to like 12. I'm I'm very interested in this frame. Like I'm very very interested. Uh, the the driver high XL dash. I don't really care too much about. It will not impress me. The frame does impress me. So they show off uh, the 4A chassis. A little bit of a closer look at it. So without for the 4A single chassis works because this is a single chassis. So, basically, I believe that there's like different weights on each side and technically Death Scyther would have two modes depending on the placement of the chassis. Like, I guess where the heavier side it would lean towards, I guess, would change how hollow is weighted towards, I guess. Best way to explain it, uh, they just uh, show a better look at Death Scyther. It does look pretty impressive, all things considered. They do it against Hollow Valkyrie, the Xbox Valkyrie. I just say that because it's just, it literally has the color scheme. Dude, and like the metal on it's like crazy. I'm sure probably they put maybe some metallic paint, but dude, it, it, it has crazy metal on it. Uh, it one shots uh, Hollow Valkyrie. It, it, it one shots it, man. Like, no contest. Uh, they show off uh, the other parts of the booster. Like, I was a little bit surprised they sh decided to show it. Uh, so, for Archer Hercules, it comes with Axe, so it is a blue recolor of the Axe frame. For Abyss Longinus, it is a blue recolor of 4A. We see a better look of the Hercules Power, which is a nice dark purple. And for the Spiral Dash, a very nice, which is very close to the original, pretty much is the original color scheme, just not transparent for Spiral Dash. Uh, the other parts uh, we see, uh, Drake is like this weird teal. I believe that is teal, is that teal? So a color expert in the comments is gonna kill me. It's gonna like give the precise coloring on it. Uh, then after uh, the other stuff. So let's go over my overall thoughts so far now that we know the full parts in the booster one by one. The Drasil, you get double O and you get wall. Literally no complaints on the Drasil. Even if I don't like the lair, I think it has any use. Storm Pegasus, it looks a little bit less uglier than I thought it did. Uh, now seeing it IRL, still not the biggest fan. Uh, no, not really the best full, considering. I mean, it, it, it's like an all right Chazetsu lair, I guess. Uh, Drake's not really that good. I don't know if High Survive will even be good, uh, just considering the other tips. Uh, Hercules, you get 10, you get the Axe Frame. So Hercules is gonna be a pretty good full, even if power is not the best performance tip. Dead Phoenix has three. I don't know why this, this has three and not like with a frame. Very, very dumb on their part to not give it a frame, but it does look so good because it's based on the lottery colors of Dead Phoenix, so like I can't complain. Uh, what's next? 
Uh, same complaint here. Why didn't they just give it a frame? You know what's the funniest thing? When was the last time we got a new frame? I think it was Air Knight. Was it Air Knight that we last got a new frame? Anyways, you know, Zeta Dash is kind of cool, 1S, whatever. Uh, Abyss Longinus is pretty fire. Uh, 13 though, whatever, I don't really care too much. I, I just wish, again, a frame. Uh, Spiral Dash, pretty exciting. Abyss Longinus would be a pretty cool pull. The Curse, Death Scyther, you know, it's not really that many desirable parts other than the chip, I guess. We've already gotten so many 1S chassis, it's, uh, it's ridiculous. For Hollow Valkyrie, uh, this is really only good for the hollow ring, I would say. And maybe the Valkyrie chip has good stamina, I don't know. I also have seen people point this out, but it is indeed missing the tattoo feature, if you are wondering. Yeah, Valkyrie doesn't have the tattoo. I don't know if that's a production error, if they just decided just to give up on the detail for some reason. Uh, then after Death Scyther, yeah. I like this more than Infinite Achilles. I think it's just because of how the bays look. I don't know parts-wise if it's better, but this is leagues above Death uh, Diabolos and Abyss's random booster. That was abysmal. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. This will be a relatively short video. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, around this time, also, we should have our episode review, so stay tuned for that. And as well, tell me which bay in the booster, if uh, let's say you only got one chance at a booster, here. what bay? Other than the prize, you can't pick the prize bay. What bay out of the seven would you pick? And uh, why? For me, it's between Hercules and Phoenix. Just for personal picks, not because of parts or whatever. Yeah, but thank you for watching. Have an awesome, amazing day.